Hey guys, so I have a, a haul video from a couple of places and oh, first I want to show you my, well, I'm going to show you another scarf. <laughs> um, I finished another scarf and this one's actually purple and it's probably not going to look very good. I didn't sew the ends together yet, so it's not really finished, but here's the color on that one. It's actually four seams of yarn, um, and I showed you them yester yesterday in my other video. Um, it's a um, dark purple with glitter in it, a light purple. There is a like bumpy, mixed, variegated yarn. And then there's another one in here that is, um, I didn't show in my haul because I had it in my stash already. Let me see if I can show it to you. It's like a... Um, purple to light purple color it's actually like a magenta color here it is um and it's really soft this whole scarf is really soft but my um sister-in-law has a coat that's like a dark purple and i thought this would go greatly with that um so it's another infinity scarf that is um arm knitted so i will show that one to you guys and then um my haul. So I got four packages today. Um, Simon Says Stamp, ScrapbookPal.com, Joann's, and Magnolia Licious. So this is what I got from Scrapbook Pal. You guys don't need to see my invoice. This is the Lawn Fawn um, die for like the hills, rolling hills. I don't know what they call this one. Stitch Hillside Borders. So it goes this way. I was planning on doing this on my Christmas cards, but I have taken another... <laughs> I was going through all my Christmas stash that I bought on clearance last year. And I'm going to use some of it up. That's what I'm going to do. Um, and it'll be a lot faster for me to make my cards. Because i got a, quite a few to make. Um, and then there's this one, um, which has got a stitched journaling card in it. And then it's got little mini banners, stars, chevrons, and hearts. And then it's got this flag here. And these were great prices on their website. So got those. My Magnolialicious order came in. And um, my invoice out. I ordered a couple of things. Um, three magazines and four dies. Uh, and their dies were 25% off. Um, and so, yeah, so here's what I got. I got the house die and this is the big house. Cause I also got the little house. Show it to you like that. It's three dimensional. So these are the sides right here. And then this is the, I think that's the front cause there's the door. And then that's another side. And then that's the back and then that's the bottom. So you can see the size difference together. And I'll, I'll hold them up for you. I was wondering what the size was because I couldn't find that on their um, website. And um, it actually doesn't say. So maybe I should tell you guys what it is in case you're ever wondering. The little house is going to stand. Um, it's got two chimneys and there's a loop on this you see that there's a loop right there you can cut that off if you want I'm assuming um, two and a quarter about two and a quarter no no sorry one and three quarters <laughs> one and three quarters tall by one and a quarter wide that would be the front see that this middle section is about one and a quarter and then the sides would be about half an inch so that's the small house okay and then oh and I guess when I measured it I measured it along the chimney line you see um, the roof is going to be different. The peak in the front where the front door is, is about one and a half, less than one and a half, one and in... 
No, it's about one and a half. I'm sorry. And then the big house is, is a little bit bigger, of course, because it's called the big house. So the big house is going to be about one and a half inches wide from the on the front. And then that side panel is going to be it's going to be three quarters of an inch deep. And I'm pretty sure these look like score lines, but they're not. No, they're embossing. Okay. Sorry guys. Two and a quarter inch tall on the chimney side. Is that right? Yeah. And then um, the middle is about two inches. Almost two inches, not quite. So yeah, there's some size difference there. And this cuts the little windows um, on the sides and the front on either side of the door. It cuts the door up partially open. And yeah, it has embossing on the chimney. So those are the house dies. Then I got the tag. Um, Laura had sent me a um, extra item in the banner swap and she had this tag on there and I've seen her tags before made with this die. It's really cute. So I got that because I couldn't resist. And then I got the um, window, barn window. I think this is what it's called. It's a window, but it's cute. And then I got some Magnolia magazines which I didn't have already. These are great for um, inspiration. I don't, I have some of the stamps, but I haven't colored them up yet. Um, but they do have some great projects in here to flip through. Um, like this, there's a Tilda candy treat. Oh, she's cute. Um, thing. Um, but yeah, I like flipping through these. And then I got... So this one is number four from 2012, Follow Your Dreams. And then this one is um, uh, 2013 number one. And it has um, bling in there and some pearls. Knickknackers. Okay, so I, I don't have those yet. So that's, oh, and there's one more magazine here. I got uh, the summertime from number three from 2011. So those are the magazines I got, and then those are the dies from Magnolia Licious. Um, the website is Magnolia Dash US, I think. That's what it is. Oh, Magnolia Stamps dot US. They you can order from Canada and you can order from the United States. So that's from them, and then I got some more dies and stamps from from Simon Says. Simon Says Stamps was having a sale on their Magnolia and it was 50% off. So I got some more magazines and I actually ordered three more but they didn't have them in stock. So I'm wondering where they're going to get them. But this is the um, Christmas edition from number five from 2010. And this one is Cozy Autumn, number four from 2010. And so, yeah, I said I ordered three more. They haven't come in. So I hate getting that slip from Simon Says Stamp. This one that says, here's a free gift. And oh, by the way, we're out of stock on this stuff. We'll send it to you when we get it. So I got quite a few dies because they had lots of dies that I didn't already have. And so here's the castle. Um... I wonder how that big that is in relation to the house. Where's the house? Here's the house and here's the castle. Would be kind of cute, right? Little cottage and houses and yeah, anyway. <laughs> we'll see how that goes. <laughs> um I got carried away. I got these um flags. I don't even know what these are called. Christmas tags. This one is the sprawling ferns. I got the silverware, and I think this is the large silverware. They have two sizes. I got the peony petals to go with my peonies or my other flower dye. Fruit tree. I got the fruit tree. Cute. Look at the little cherries in there. And there's like a pear and an apple. Cute. Okay. Um, this little like corner 
floral swirl corner is what it's called. That's cute. And then I got this one, which is events flags. So you can put them on a little thing. Okay. And then this one is a uh, twisted swirl. So that's the dies that I got and the magazines I got from Simon Says in my order. And then I showed you that already. And then I got my Joanne's order. So my Joanne's order. I've got to move this other stuff, guys. Sorry. My Joanne's order also came in. One of them. I have two orders, actually. And this one was the bigger of the two orders. I got my um, Studio Gold um, Instagram size um, pocket page thingies. We are memory keepers. What do you call that thing? Albums made easy is what they call them. And... I showed you guys the cards for the larger um, pockets. These are the four by four and the two by two, but I'm going to use these in a four by in, in a regular album size, the regular pocket page size, the six, four by six. Um, so you can see here they're um, also gold foil, just like the other cards that I showed you. Uh, and they're so cute. I opened one of them. I don't know if you guys have seen these. But when you see them, when you get them, they're so cute. I'll pull some out. I'll pull out the small ones that I'm talking about. See? Look how cute that is. This S is S. This is the story. Well, I couldn't say that correctly, could I? And then I pulled these out. Look how they have these little punch out cards. Cute, right? I know you can make these. I mean, we all have the tools to make this kind of stuff. But do we have the time? I guess if I didn't have anything else to do, the answer would be yes. But I do have other stuff that I have to do. Oh, see, wouldn't that be great on a card, too? Oh, my gosh. So, yeah, you get those size, and you get the regular 4x6 size, which I actually took out of the package, too. Because I was just curious. So you get some of these. And there's different styles, you know, fabulous. There's some, even some, you know, frames in here. So... That's what you get inside of that um, smaller package. Let me put that off to the side so I can show you the rest of what I got. Um, and I'll put them in later. So, I don't know why I'm holding that rubber band. I got some, again, Magnolia Ink magazines because they were on sale too. Oh, this one has a stamp in it. Look at that. You see that stamp down in there? It's one of the minis. It's November 2nd, no, November 2nd, is number 2, 2013, and this is the wedding one, right? The special moments one. Let me show you this one first so I can open the package. So I got this one, which is the All Around the World, no, number 4, 2013. And sorry about the wrinkling, but I want to show you the stamp that I got for free. So there's no, there's no, um, she's, I think she's sitting down. What is she holding? Flowers. I think she's holding flowers, but she's sitting down. Oh, she's cute. I usually don't like these. So I don't want to lose that. So let me put that over there. Uh, I did order one die because they don't have that many dies on Joanne's website. I got this one, which is the floral pick. See, like you put this down in something. It's like a little sign. Um, Peaky floral tabs. That's what this is called. So it would be like in a pot, you know. So I got that, and then I ordered some of these Teresa... No, these aren't Teresa Collins. These are My Mind's Eye Necessities metallic dots so these are the metallic enamel dots silver gold and copper i guess that would be and then here is the album that i was talking about in my other video when i showed you my scrapbook.com haul this is beautiful this is a studio gold album that matches the cards polka dots 
and that blue stripe. And this is a paper. It's not um, leather bound. Um, and then it has the little corners here in gold. And this is not a standard size either. It is 8.5 by 11. And it's got rings inside. And they do give you pockets. So I could use my um, Instagram ones in here. Because these are 4x4 four four pockets. Um, I didn't realize that. Okay. Um, yeah. I'm going to have to buy other photos. Hey guys, so I thought I'd go ahead and tack on this video here. Um, finally get a chance to show you the glass that I bought, or the thrift items that I bought uh, while I was away. Um, this is some fabric. I think these are curtains, but um, they're really pretty. I guess this, is this considered a 12? I don't know. Um, you can see it's this rose, blue rose pattern, and it's cream. So I got some of that, and it's actually, um, what do you call it? It's a curtain, I believe. And then I got these um, tassels. It's a rose mauve color. Um, it says $3.99 on it, but I didn't get it for $3.99. I got it for a dollar and a quarter at Goodwill. And I think it was half price, too, because that day I think it might have been half price. I'm not sure. That's why I was visiting. Well, not visiting. I was away, really. <laughs> um, and I showed you the um, large... This is the jar that I showed you guys before. And I told you guys I had a set of them because she sold it to me as a set. So it was $25. And you can see this is a quart jar right here. And they're all different. They're not a match set, which I actually like that because that one says improved crown. This one says improved imperial. And you can see it says quart. And there's a crown on it too. And the crown is different than the, the other, the large one. So that's the medium size. And then this is the smallest of the three jars. And that just says crown. And again, the crown is different from the middle size jar. I think the two lar the large one is the same. No, it's still different. Yeah, so each of the crowns is different. Really cute, right? So let me see if I can move this back so you can see all three of them together. Okay, so those are the three jars that I got when I went to the Antique Expo. And I also did get some ball jars. You can see um, this is a regular uh, blue ball jar and with the lid. And she had some for $10, but I bought four of these and they were $8 a piece, I believe. So this is just one of the four that I bought. Um, and you can see the size compared to these other jars that are here. So it's the same as this size and this has the um the milk glass insert in the lid so all four of them are like that so um yeah and you can see the color difference too the ball glasses are slightly bluer than these um ones here but they are blue you could you can actually see the blueness of them so i just wanted to share that and then today I just got home from dinner and I found this pink doily for 60 cents at the thrift store. You can see it's like a star pattern sort of. It's not five points, but you can see the, the way they did it. And then I found this, which I think this is for jewelry because this has like these little pockets. And I've seen one of these before. Um, see how it's got these little pie slices? And it's got these ties too. See? I think that's what it's for, but I could be wrong. And it's really pretty. It's it's in great condition because there are no stains that I can see. Um, but yeah, I picked that up. This was 60 cents also. And then I also got one of these big... Um, these are what usually you have for comforters and... and um, you buy blankets in. Um, they sell these at the thrift store. This was $1.50, but I'm going to use it for all the yarn that I bought. And it's clear so you can see through it and know what's in the bag. 
And it's really big because this is for a queen size comforter. Um, so I'm going to put all the yarn in there that I've been purchasing. And hopefully that helps me keep it organized. Anyway, that's it for now. Talk to you soon. Bye.